You go to any community anywhere in this country, walk up to someone on the street and say, do you think it makes sense in light of the fact that 10 million migrants have come into the country in three and a half years, 99 of those individuals on the terrorist watch list, do you think it makes sense before a new voter registers to vote that they demonstrate they are a citizen of this great country? And any person you ask that question to will say, well, of course, of course that makes sense. Every Democrat, district, Republican, district, they will all say the same thing. Everyone will agree with that, except Democrats in the United States House of Representatives. They disagree with that. They say, no, 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 we can't have that requirement on a bill that spends what we're already spending. We can't put that requirement on a bill. That is ridiculous. That is, as Sarah Huckabee Sanders said a couple years ago in her response to the State of the Union, she said, the divide in America today is normal versus crazy. That is a crazy policy position not to agree with that, not to put the SAVE Act on this bill. Think of the positions the left now takes. It's crazy to defund the police. It's crazy not to have a border. It's crazy to say men should compete against women in sports. Those are all positions the left takes, and they take the position that in light of 10 million people coming into our country in three and a half years, you shouldn't have a requirement to demonstrate you're a citizen before you register as a new voter. The people see this, man. The people understand in this country, this is a crazy, support this legislation. This is a good bill with a common sense, normal policy that we are putting on the legislature. It makes absolute sense, but they're gonna vote against it. I urge a yes vote and I yield back.